Today I'm going to go over how to sketch the graph of y equals 2 sine 2x, as well as find the amplitude, the period, and the x-coordinates. Um, to find the amplitude, our amplitude is always going to be the absolute value of the coefficient of sine, which is 2 in our problem. Let's see right there. Um, to find the period, we are going to always divide 2 pi by the coefficient of x. So we are going to divide 2 pi by 2, which is our coefficient of x, to get pi. Um, so now we have our period. Uh, the easiest way to find our x-coordinates is by dividing our period by 4. So pi divided by 4 is simply pi over 4. Having pi over 4 allows us to find the x-coordinates much easier because it tells us how much space there is in between each x-coordinate on the x-axis. Um, to start, our phase shift starts at 0, so our first x-coordinate will be 0. For each coordinate after this, we will add pi over 4, um, which gives us pi over 4. Secondly, we have 2 pi over 4, which reduces to a pi over 2. Next, we have 3 pi over 4, which remains the same. Finally, we have 4 pi over 4, which reduces down to just simply pi. Now we have our 5x coordinates. Now that we have all of our information, we can begin to graph this. Um, I already have this set up, but I'll walk you through it. Um, on the y-axis, our amplitude is going to give us our range. Uh, so we have 2 and negative 2. Um, using our x-coordinates, we have 0, pi over 4, pi over 2, 3 pi over 4, and pi. Since we have our points plotted now, it's going to be very easy to graph this. We're going to start at 0, go up to 2, down to 0 at pi over 2, back down to negative 2 at pi, 3 pi over 4, and then back up to 0 at pi. Um, since we only did one wave of the graph, represented by y equals 2 sine 2x, two um, we all know that these are continuous, so we're going to represent that by putting a dashed line on either side.